Okay, so today is the first day of our augmented reality tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we are gonna cover all the features Vuforia is offering with the latest Unity 3D. Today, I'm gonna discuss the marker-based augmented reality with you. In marker-based augmented reality, there is basically a marker or an image. A camera will look into that particular marker and any feedback will be shown. Maybe it is a 3D model, maybe it is a video, and so on and so forth. A practical example will be a visiting card where maybe you have introduced yourself with a video and when anyone put the camera in front of that particular card, then your video will be pop up. Or another example will be a child ebook. I'm gonna show you an example right now. Look at this particular example. So this is a card, right? So the what? What is happening here is that this camera is tracking this particular card and this particular card has some feature point. So the camera knows that this is a card for a tiger. When the user shows this particular card, this tiger is popping up. Okay. So these are the marker based augmented reality. That means you have to use any kind of image and regarding that image, you will get some kind of feedback. In uh, Vuforia, they have made it really easy. You don't have to do much work. So it will take like five or 10 minutes to do the whole thing. So I'm gonna get started right now. First of all, you need to go to the file and build setting, go to player setting. I have changed the platform from PC to Android. You, you, you can also do that. Go to player setting and in the Exer setting, this is the new function Unity introduced. So there is something called Vuforia Augmented Reality Support. So you should check this one. And when you check this, there will be a resource file pop up here, right? That's it. So next thing you should do, you need some configuration for the Vuforia. Just go to this uh, Vuforia configuration and click this button, add license. So there is a lot of other option. I'll cover all of them, all of them eventually. When you need a particular option, I'll discuss that. So for now, we need only this one to add a license. Just click this one and it will take you to the developer side. So here uh, you can log in or register. I already have an account here, so I'm gonna log in. You'll need a development developer key for this uh, project. So I'm gonna create one, click on the get developer key and just name it like maybe day one marker based AR. Great. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on that particular project I just made. So this is my project, right? So I'm going to click that one and it will give me this license key. So I'm going to copy this up. So copy this and go back to Unity, paste this license here. So now you're ready to go. The next thing I'm going to need is the database. So what is a database? So you see there was this cat sorry this tiger so these images they are kept in a database so this particular system knows that this image means that right so we need this database to store those informations that this particular image are responsible for these particular things to do that uh, Vuforia gives you a really good thing they already has this panel developer panel where you can add those database if i go to this target manager i was here right i am going to this target manager and adding a database so if i click here it will pop up and i am gonna select device because i am gonna use my device database not any cloud database or any boomer so i again i am gonna discuss all of these in the later tutorials so click this device and name it like what car database database okay. so inside the database there can be a lot of image targets so remember we are using marker based augmented reality 
that means there should be an image right so if you click on this cat sorry car database you'll see there is no target right now but you can add a lot of target add as much as you want right so first of all i need an image you can use any image but make sure that there are some criteria your image should not be too much glazy your image should be like there should be a lot of features that means it should there should be a lot of patterns you can find out a lot of uh, you know design criteria for that i'll paste the link in the description so that you can know that which are the criteria you must follow while choosing this kind of image targets image i'm gonna use i'm gonna use this image i already downloaded it from google so open it and there is a field name width so this width is the width of the particular marker you are using for so for example in this project the width of the marker is from here to here right so you should um, uh, measure the width with a scale or something like that and you'll see that there is something said here that Vuforia uses meter as the default unit scale so what does this it means that means if for example for my case um, the width of my paper is like uh, 19 centimeter so that will be like 0 0.19 meter right so I'm gonna use that one and click the add button so that's it it will take some time for processing okay so there, there, there is this rating system so that means the this is five star that means this image is really good for tracking uh, in augmented reality okay so you should make sure that your image is also five star rating okay and just for a briefing if you click here and go to this section and go to this you know show features you'll see that there is a lot of feature points here so they are called these things called the called the features point so the, this camera knows these points and track it directly from these feature points so the much the feature point is the more accurate your augmented uh, reality application will be right okay so now let's download this particular asset click here download this database i'm gonna use it for unity right and download it cool so then uh, i'm gonna click it and it will import all the things in my uh, unity editor right and now if i go to the Fourier configuration again i'll find that there is a another thing in the database there was no database uh, previously but now there is something like load car database whatever so now i have to click this one and activate this okay fine now the next thing i have to do i have to delete this main camera so there is uh, there is a augmented reality camera provided by Vuforia. so we are going to use that camera we are not going to use the main camera of unity so go to Vuforia and AR camera right and it will say to, to import those assets just import it Okay, so after importing those assets, then you have to go to the air camera, make sure everything is fine here, go to the configuration and make sure that your application key is good. Yeah, it's good. And you also imported that database, but there you'll see that there is another, a lot of other database. You don't really need those. So this is our database, this card database, right? But there is this Vuforia Mars and Vuforia Mars object and so on and so forth so we don't need those things because they are uh, they came from with the euphoria you know 
Buforia as default uh, asset. So we don't need those uh, images or those database. So we have to just uncheck those things. And now just create an image target. If you go to the create button, Buforia, and there is an image, right? And there is other. There is a lot of other options also. We are going to use this image now. Click this one. In the image, if you click it, you will go to the inspector and you will find that there is something called the database. So click on the database and check this one, this card database, right? We created this one and this is our image. It's automatically selected because there is only one target, right? If there was multiple target, like if there was a lot of other targets here, you would have seen all of them in your, uh, in your inspector. Okay nice so this is the particular object that's that is responsible for all the augmentation so what we should do now we should import a car a 3d model of a car and we, we try to augment that car on the top of this particular screen okay so let's do that i have already downloaded this asset so I, I will also uh, give the link of this particular asset. All of these assets are free. You can download it from the Unity Asset Store. Click it and import it. And finally, when you are done, just click on this particular thing, this FBX, drag and drop this model on top of this car. It's not placed properly. You see that it's here. So go to the position of the car and make it 0, 0, 0. Why 0, 0, 0? Because the target, image target position is 0, 0, 0, right? You see? So 0, 0, 0. So it's in the perfect place. Now I have to just put it a little bit higher like this. Maybe rotate, a little, rotate the whole car like this. Yep. So now the last thing I should do, I should drag it and drop it under this image target. That's it. Okay, done. So now the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to build this whole project and port it to Android and I'm going to show you that how does it looks. Okay, you'll see that it looks really great. So to build this thing, you have to go to file and build setting and from Android. Okay, so we have to, uh, we have not saved the scene yet. So we have to save this scene. I'm gonna name this scene main and add open scene. Finally, in the player setting, there is one little change you have to do, otherwise, there will be an error. So, in the other setting, there is this Android TV compatibility. You have to uncheck this one because Bufuria doesn't support it. And now you have to build this one. I'm gonna name it. I'm going to name it marker lace sorry marker based car save it and now just import this whole apk in your android device try to run it as you can see if i rotate the marker then the car will also rotate in the same motion in the same direction I can go closer to the car or I can go 360 to the car like this. I can see it from this side. So that's it. You have successfully made your first augmented reality project. See you in the next class.